now you'll see the classification of pin the first pin as I've mentioned the peripheral pin stimulation is coming from the skin but if it is going to skin subkin tissue and muscle which are nothing but somatic structures in the embryony so this type of pin is called as somatic pin now sometimes origin is coming from the viscera like our liver intestine heart which are receiving autonomic nerves if you again go through same pathway that is spinothalamic tract now this type of pain which is arising from viscera is called as a visceral pain and now third category the nerve gets damaged you can see here receptor is now no more in connection with but due to irritation of nerve fibers here there is generation of action potential in the nerve which will travel down to spinal cord up to the cortex and person will get pain in the receptor area that is called as projected pain which we have seen in case of phantom limb means absence of part of the body but person is getting a pain this is because generation of action potential at the nerve endings which are damaged so these are the three types of peripheral pain somatic visceral and projected pain <clears throat> now again these are the a delta fiber arising from the skin and these are the c fiber which are arising from deep tissues so if stimulation is superficial which is generating action potential in this nerve the impulse carries very fast and more the superficial part of skin more it is localized to well in the cortex because these are having a special function as of if you just recall sensory homunculus will have more area for the part of the body which is performing skilled actions so obviously superficial part of skin will have a better area as compared to this one so now this area from here this area can impulse will reach the cortex so this type of pain which is somatic is called as superficial pain so under the somatic category pain arising from superficial structure it is called as superficial pain and one which is arising from deep structure like there is damage to the muscle okay maybe because of accident trauma whatever now this will be carried by the C fiber which is conducting slowly they have got slow conduction velocity and due to deep location they will have a less or area of representation in the cortex or poor presentation in the cortex this is called as a deep pain so under the somatic pain category we are having superficial pain and deep pain superficial being carried by the a delta fiber which are fast conducting that's why it is also called as fast pain and deep fib deep pain is being carried by the c fiber which are slow so it is also called as slow pain so in the peripheral mechanism somatic pain visceral pain and projected pain again in the somatic category superficial pain which is also called as fast pain and deep pain which is also called as slow pain now in the deep pain we'll go in the further now there is a little as i mentioned deficiency of a delta fiber in the deep structure that's why it is poorly localized because presentation is less in the cortex nauseating associated with sweating and changes in blood pressure because deep nerves are again near the autonomic nerves blood vessels are supplied by autonomic nerves so because of all this there will be sweating also as well as change in blood pressure now in the visceral pain category as i told you it is carried by the autonomic nerves same mechanism stimulation in the intestine or liver or kidney but here mechanism stimulation is different in the intestine especially they give response to distension if you just recall this mechanism of peristalsis distension stimulates the nerve for peristalsis similarly distension stimulates the nerve for the pain generation of action potential which will travel to the spinal cord 
Now here again generation in the sensorial neuron it is carried to the thalamus. From here it will go to the sensory cortex. Now again the sensory cortex will have a very poor presentation of visceral area because they don't have any fine action. And as they are being carrying by autonomic nerves so this will have a different presentation. And one more thing happens many nerves are converging on same signal spinal cord. If you just recall the embryology, the <coughs> embryological growth, the uh, visceral organs and somatic organs will have a similar dermatomes in the embryology which as the development proceeds they move to the respective areas. For example, testes are there in the abdomen in the intrauterine life but at birth they are coming in the scrotum so they descend. So they will carry the innervation from that region of the abdomen only. So similarly many organs, diaphragm is near the neck in the intrauterine life but as the baby grows and at, at birth it is in the thorax region. So similarly visceral organs and somatic organs most of them have from same segment of spinal cord. That's why many times what happens when a stimulation is arising from the viscera it is reaching here and similar nerve is ending from same segment same root of spinal cord the brain will get a misinterpretation brain will misinterpret this as this so that's why this is called as a referred pain stimulation arising from this area but person is getting pain in this area so this is a very peculiar feature of a visceral pain it is poorly localized unpleasant afferent fibers are why autonomic that's why we'll have associated autonomic symptoms like sweating change in blood pressure, palpitations, loose motions, maybe diarrhea like the symptoms will arise in visceral pain and refer to other areas due to innervation from same segment and receptor sensitive to distension of organs. So here we are finishing pain. What is the pain we have discussed? Pain receptor stimulation of receptor and types of pain. Thank you.